welcome to your flipped learning video for today. Our goal is that we can convert analog to digital clock times to the five minutes. So there are a couple of things you are going to need for this lesson. We're obviously doing times, so you're going to have to get your clock and you're also going to need a pencil, a rubber, a ruler and your scrapbook. All right, here's what we're going to do first. In your scrapbook, I'm going to open up to a fresh page. I'm just going to flip this page over. And we're going to draw up a table in our scrapbook. Here are the three. Let's create our three columns first. So let's draw them right across the page. I'm going to draw, make sure I have a space for the title. I'm going to go down my page. Our three headings for today are analog, digital, and spoken. First thing you're going to do is you're going to draw three blank analog clocks on your page. Now you need to be really careful and really clear as you do this so that it's easy for you to draw the times on later. So I'm going to draw my three analog clocks and then I want you to pause the video once you have done that in your book. Okay, I have drawn my three analog clocks. Next to it, I want you to draw three blank digital clocks. All you have to do is draw a rectangle here and then put the two dots in the middle that divide our hours and minutes. Pause the video and draw three of them for me now. Now that we have our book all set up, I'm going to give you some analog times. We're going to draw our analog clock and then we're going to change that time into digital and spoken. Now when I say change, I mean the word rename, just like we do in place value. In place value, we rename numbers without changing their value. The same thing goes here for time. We're not changing the time as we go to digital or spoken. We're just renaming or changing its name, even though it has the same value. So let's get our little mini clock out first. I want to make the time 7, 10, 7, 10. Where would my hour hand go if I want to make the time 7, 10? Okay. The hour hand should sit just past the 7. And our minute hand, 7, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Ah, I remember from our last video that we learned to skip count in five minute intervals. So let's start at the top and let's skip count in fives until we get to ten. Five, ten. Well, that wasn't hard, so let's put that directly in the middle of the two there so it lines up. Seven, ten. That's what it should look like on your clock. I am going to bring out my big teaching clock so we can see it a bit clearer. Seven. That's the hour hand goes just past the seven. And 10, our minute hand for 10 minutes sits right on the two at 7, 10. We're going to draw this now into our books onto our analog clock time, 7, 10. So nice and clearly with a pencil, let's draw 7, 10. I'm going to move that off to the side. So our hand, I'm going to get my ruler so I can see it more clearly. 
I'm going to put my hour hand, which is shorter, just past the seven. So I'm only going to make it short and touch it up with the middle and draw my little there. Seven and now ten. And we know that the minute hand points directly at the two and the minute hand is longer. So I'm going to put my ruler down. I'm going to make sure it's directly on the two. I'm going to draw a nice long arm. A nice long arm. Oh, not doing very good at this today. Like that. Yours is going to be a lot neater than mine. Okay, seven, ten. We need to change that number into its digital form. So on this side of the digital clock, we know that represents the hour. And on this side of the digital clock, it represents the minutes. So what hour are we on at the moment? We're at seven o'clock. So we need to put a seven on the hour side. And how many minutes past the hour are we? Let's skip counting fives again. Five. 10. We are 10 minutes past the hour. 7, 10. Now we need to write it how we say it's spoken form. So how do we say this time? So I can use my little mini clock here. If I flip back to the last page, I can actually find out. It says 10 minutes past because we're in the past side of the clock. So we could say it is 10 minutes past. Past what? What hour have we just passed? 10 minutes past 7. Okay, that's its spoken form. So now we should have 7, 10, 7, 10, 10 minutes past 7. They all represent the same time. We just put it in three different ways. Okay, we're going to do this one together. And then we're going to try and do one on our own. So let's make the next time, putting our pencils down. I want the time 8.50. 8.50. That's when our devotion time ends. 8.50 and when lesson one begins. 8.50. Can you make the time 8.50 or 50 minutes past 8 on your individual clock? Where does the hour hand go? Where does the minute hand go? And how can you make sure you're at 50? By doing your skip counting. All right, 850. That's pretty simple. I know it needs to go on the 8. But it's 50 minutes past, so it's almost at the next hour. So it needs to be closer to the 9, even though we're still in 8 o'clock though. All right, the minute hand, we're doing 850. I'm going to double check with my skip counting from the top to make sure I'm getting 50. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. All right, I'm going to hold down my hour hand. I'm going to move my minute hand to be right on the 10. 8.50. I'm going to show you on my big clock now. 8.50. So we know we're at 8 o'clock, but we're closer to 9 o'clock. So you can see 50 is closer to the next hour. So I'm just going to move it just before the nine. Checking again my five minutes because we're going to 50. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And if you know your times tables, five times 10 is 50. That's a bit of a trick there. So 8, 50. That's our time. 8, 50. 
Let's record this time in our books in our 8.50. So grabbing your ruler, moving your clock to the side. Let's put in the hour hand first. Now we know it's eight o'clock, but we can't draw our small hour hand pointing to the eight. It's further on in the hour because as the hour moves on in minutes, our hour hand moves as well. So it's closer to the nine, not on right on the nine, but just before. So let's draw that little small hour hand. And we know the minute hand was on the 10 for 50 minutes. So I'm gonna point right to the 10. And I'm gonna draw my long minute hand. There we go. There is 8.50. Have a go now and see if you can do the digital time. If you need to pause the video to write that down, do so now. Or you can keep listening as we do the next step together. So our clock here is 8.50. I can check on my mini clock. I've got the hour is eight, the minute is 50. And we know on a digital clock, the hour is on this side and the minutes past the hour are on this side. So what hour at we, are we at? We're at eight, eight o'clock. How many minutes have gone past in the hour on this clock? That's easy, 50 minutes. So I'm gonna write 50 here, eight, 50. Now, how do I say this? We can say 850, but there is a proper way that we need to say this time. And I'm gonna check my individual clock. If we have a look, everything on this side or this half of my clock is past the hour. And everything on this side of my clock is to the next hour. So let's have a check behind the 10, behind the 50. It says it's 10 minutes to the next hour. So I'm gonna record that down. It is 10 minutes to the next hour. What's the next hour after eight o'clock? That's right, it's nine. So 10 minutes to nine. That's how we'd say it. We say it's 10 to 9 or 10 minutes to 9 o'clock. All right, for the last one, you're going to have a go on your own. I'm going to give you the time on the analog clock and then I want you to do the digital and spoken on your own. So you're going to need to pause the video. The time I want you to make on your analog clock is 7.25, 7.25. You can pause the video now, find 7.25 on your analog clock and then complete the three steps. Once you're finished, you can unpause or resume the video and listen to the answers. 7.25, can you make that time? Complete the chart and then resume when you're finished and we'll go through the answers. Make 7.25 now. Okay, 7.25, your hour hand should be almost halfway between the seven and the eight because we know 25 is close to that 30 mark and 30 is halfway. 7.25, so seven's there. The minute hand, I'm gonna count from the top to make sure I'm getting 25. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Ah, it's on the five. Five times five is 25. If you know your multiplication for your fives times tables. There is 7.25, I'm gonna show you on my clock. Let's go to seven. 25, there we go. So your hour hand 
is almost halfway between the seven and the eight and your minute hand is on the five for 25 minutes. So let's draw that. Double check your answers as we go along. So your hour hand, your short hand, should be just before halfway between the seven and the eight. So I'm gonna pull that across like that. Okay, short hand. It's our hour hand for 7.25. And we know the minute hand, the long hand, needs to go right to the five. I'm gonna get my ruler. I'm gonna draw my long arm. And there we go. Give yourself a tick if that's the time you had. Next, we're going to write the digital time. It's pretty easy. It's 7.25. The hour we're on is seven. And how many minutes past the hour? We are 25 minutes. Now, how do we say it? I've actually been saying it the whole time. But I'm going to check on my mini clock. I'm going to go behind the 5, behind the 25, and it says it's 25 minutes past the hour. So I'm going to leave that up for me. I'm going to move it to the side. It is 25 minutes past the hour which is seven o'clock. If you got those two right, you can give yourself a tick. Well done, year three, and I will see you next time. <laughs>